Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. It is Thursday, May 21st, 2015, and I'm Leanne McAdoo. Well, we're going to get right into the news tonight. I want to talk about Rand Paul's filibuster. Well, it wasn't technically a filibuster. Uh, it ended right before midnight, and the reauthorization of the Patriot Act wasn't actually up for a vote. However, he did uh, commandeer the Senate for about 10 hours, reminding us that the Patriot Act can scoop up a lot more than just our metadata. Now, he made some very good points there as he stalled the debate on reauthorization of the Patriot Act. Uh, one, the NSA can use the Patriot Act to collect in bulk a lot more than just phone records. Now, the controversy is over Section 215 of the Patriot Act, which is what the NSA uh, uses to collect massive amounts of phone metadata. But uh, Democrat Ron Wyden also joined Senator Paul, and he wanted to remind everyone that the NSA can basically use Section 215 to turn all of our phones into tracking devices 24 hours a day. And he also strongly suggested that the agency would be able to collect in bulk millions of innocent Americans' credit card records, medical records, financial and bank records, gun records, and they're going to use Section 215 to do all of that as well. Now, he also pointed out that the USA Freedom Act doesn't cover everything. Now, the USA Freedom Act is legislation that was passed by the House uh, just last week, and it would replace bulk collection with a system that would search the data held by telephone companies on a case-by-case -case basis. Now, uh, Paul kept bringing up the FISA Amendments Act, which allows officials to collect material including search history, the content of emails, file transfers, and live chats. And the NSA also abuses this same law to scan large portions of emails coming in and out of the U.S. And the USA Freedom Act also doesn't touch Executive Order 12333, which governs how the NSA can collect supposedly purely overseas communication. Now, he also said NSA surveillance is used for a lot more than just terrorism cases. We've pointed this out plenty of times. There's a little cited technique known as parallel construction where the Drug Enforcement Administration is getting wiretaps from the NSA and then hands over that information to local cops. And we already know all about the fusion centers that are all over the country. Uh, Paul also points out how using the Patriot Act for mass surveillance is illegal no matter what Congress does. Just two weeks ago, the Second Circuit Court of Appeals uh, ruled that it was illegal for the NSA to use the law to conduct mass surveillance at all. So Paul kept bringing up the fact, why is Congress even considering renewing an authority for a program that would be illegal for the NSA to continue anyway? Absolutely absurd. And then lastly, he said that there are plenty of other civil liberties concerns that Congress has yet to deal with. Uh, obviously, there's a number of other controversial practices. One is known as sneak and peek warrants. Uh, these are court orders that allow law enforcement officers to essentially break into suspects' homes without their knowledge. Um, these were sold as being needed for terrorism, but they were used in more than 99% of the time in drug cases. And also, there is the little tool being used by law enforcement, civil asset forfeiture. Mr. Asper, would you mind answering one question? I'm from a local journalist about citizen asset forfeiture. Do you think it's fair about the civil asset forfeiture for people to have their assets taken away without being found guilty? Well, it depends on what the charge is. Well, what, what if they haven't been uh, put to trial or anything? Do you think it's fair that uh, hard-earned money, not, not uh, put to trial in any way, shape, or form yet, be taken by uh, law authorities? I think you have to look at the Constitution to figure that out. Okay, uh, uh, there are uh, several states that just repealed civil, uh, refused to well, repeal. that's a public policy decision they've made. Oh, oh well. You know, and, and they're entitled to make it. And, and so each state has the ability to do that, and that's mm -hmm. one of the reasons that, that we have a federal system. That's true. And, and where in the Constitution does it give the authority for police to take people's hard-earned money without a trial? Well, you'd have, you'd have to go to the variety of cases that have ruled on it.
White House science czar John P. Holdren, who wrote the eugenics classic, Eco-Science, Population, Resources, Environment, with Paul and Ann Ehrlich, a population control manifesto that insists that illegitimate babies either be put up for adoption or aborted, adding sterilants to public drinking water and staple foods, restricting the number of children you can have, and ultimately creating a central planetary regime to control all population resources in the environment. Now, the heart of his outlook is what he calls, uh, well, he says that population is the root of all human problems. In other words, people pollute. Humanity is a cancer on the face of the earth. Uh, the one big problem in the ecosystem is the role of, of humankind. And of course, in reality, the existing ecosystem could not survive without the constant contributions of human production. Holdren says that the Optimum world population is one billion. Now let's pause. At the time Holdren wrote that, the world population was already four billion. Today, if you say the optimum population is one billion, it would mean that more than five billion would have to go. And again, these are orders of magnitude that Hitler, Stalin, and Mao never dreamed of. Only in the mind of fanatics like Holdren do we get genocide of these proportions. Now Holdren is using the old globalist tool, order out of chaos, citing the new statistics that 40% of U.S. bee colonies have collapsed over the past year. Holdren and the Obama administration are calling for restoring 7 million acres of bee habitat in the next five years. Before the Fed starts snatching up land and forcing people off of it, while buddying up to Crop Life America, the group that represents the makers of pesticides, what are those that spend every day with bees saying? Infowars spoke with Texas-based Round Rock honey owner Conrad Buffard in his element. I was teaching at a public high school full-time, raising a family, and starting this company and running one other company all at the same time, working all the time. Uh, and I did not have time to take my bees out to California or to you know be, become a commercial pollinator. Well, it turns out that, that uh, I got a lot of cr criticism from more established beekeepers because of that. Ended up showing that I, I was actually doing things right because um, most of those guys, they've come around to doing things the way I do, which is small numbers of hives set out on big pieces of land. Because of the drought cycle, you have to be able to put six, six to 12 um, uh, hives per acre and, and be okay with that. And so you have to have a lot of bee sites. We have to be able to spread our stuff out, you know, spread our bees out uh, so that they can get proper levels of nutrition. And so colony collapse disorder, the, the key issue is the way that we've always done things as an industrialized food society, you know. Uh, our, our, our food is grown on, you know, in fields where it's just a large monocrop. Uh, you put bees out there and they only get one single source of nutrition, one single source of pollen, and they end up starving to death. Recently with this uh, federal um, task force to help the bees, I think that they're generally, they, they, they have, I guess, good intentions, if you will. However, um, from what I read, they were just wanting to plant a few flowers by the side of the road and at federal housing projects and things like that. And that's not even going to be a Band-Aid. That's, that's, that's nothing, really. There are certain types of pesticides that are uh, widely available in the United States that, you know, have a sublethal effect on bees. And uh, especially, uh, I've heard so many times from so many farmers uh, that uh, GMO corn and corn treated, pre-treated with certain pesticides, um, they, they, that the bees will die off in the beginning. Uh, like if, if we were to set this in front of a cornfield that was just coming up, the bees, about half the hive, three quarters of the hive would die off right away. And then the remainder would come back. But the thing is that they, they've lost their momentum. So the next year comes around, they die off again, they've lost their momentum again. So they're on a downward spiral. There's also uh, new pests and new challenges for bees. Uh, just like humans can be susceptible to certain viruses and things like that, so can bees. And new ones are being introduced. It seems, you know, every year there's something new. New mites, new this, new that. 
and uh, and those also have a big impact on bees. Sometimes even the cures for those things, or what we're told are the cures for those things, can be even more deadly for the bees. I ha have seen underneath a scanning electron microscope uh, perfectly square uh, pollen grains, and that does doesn't happen in nature. Well, uh, speaking with the gentleman that was showing me that, who's uh, very well respected nationally and internationally respected and acclaimed scientist on pollen here in Texas, you know, he said that that was uh, GMO corn out of Kansas. And it's perfectly square. I mean, no wonder it's gonna cause problems because it can't move through the tissues uh, as well as say a natural pollen could. And it, of course it's gonna cause problems. So. You know, so that's why we put our hives out here in these natural habitats where there's no cropland within four miles of here. And, and if there is, uh, it's, um, the, the bees aren't foraging on it. And the only way we know that they're not foraging on it uh, is because we do uh, pollen tests with Texas A&M that tell us exactly what's in the, the honey. Right now, I can tell you that uh, the general mix of our honey uh, is persimmon. That's a big one. We also have a lot of acacia um, and uh, a small amount of um, mesquite trees. Uh, so, so we're seeing mainly acacia, uh, wahio, uh, that those sorts of acacia, uh, and um, uh, a little bit of some other trees. But, but we're seeing a typical Texas profile. In other, in other words, plants that there would be no way could be made into GMO seed or could be made from GMO seed. They're natural plants, and. Um, and if you take other honeys, especially some from the Midwest and other areas where um, where there's a lot of commercial planting, you'll you'll find large amounts. If, if you find any pollen at all, you'll find large amounts of uh, of GMO pollens. Obama signed HR 993. It was a bill funding the federal government, and there was a rider in it, a Monsanto and biotech rider. The gist of the rider is a dangerous, ghoulish GMO food crop can't be stopped by a court order. That crop can still be grown, harvested, and sold in the U.S. There are many reasons given to the decline in bees, but one argument that matters most is the use of genetically modified organisms and terminator seeds, genetically produced and distributed by powerful multinational lobbies that manipulate government and agricultural policy to encompass their agenda of dominance in the agricultural industry. American conglomerates such as Monsanto, Pioneer Seeds, and others have created seeds that do not reproduce. Logic states that if the flower pollen is sterile, bees are potentially going malnourished and dying of illness due to the lack of nutrients and the interruption of the digestive capacity of what they feed on through the summer and over the winter hibernation process. So, you know, if people want to make a change, uh, you know, grow their own plants from seed, uh, grow them in, in soil that they've mixed themselves that is clean, and, and don't use things like Roundup. John Bound for Infowars.com. Well, if you are an Alex Jones radio show viewer, then you know we've had a pretty sensational day here at InfoWars. Joining me in studio now, Rob Dew and Jakari Jackson. Now, we wanted to put together a Black Lives Matter protest, go out, educate the people, let them know that the race war starts in the womb, educate people on who Margaret Sanger is. And, uh, you know, Jakari, talk to me a little bit about what, what the intention was for this. Well, we all know about the Black Lives Matter uh, movement, the hashtag. And, you know, our thought was, well, why not expand it beyond just police brutality? Because, yes, we know that is very much an issue, but it also affects people in a very positive or in a very uh, profound way when it comes to abortion. The blacks are aborted at a huge rate in this country. We all know that uh, it wasn't too long ago in New York, they actually aborted more children, black children, than were born. Right. So with this in mind, let's say we said, let's go out here and address this and talk to the people. And by and large, it worked out pretty well. Mm -hmm. We did have some communist agitators who showed up with their black tarp. Do if you can hand me oh, that yeah. tarp. Yeah. Well, commie scumbag so, showed up. So you know, up. we had we had a very peaceful demonstration, <laughs> and then they came with. The, I'm not exactly sure what this is it's or from, where they it's got a it. A roofing material. Okay, roofing material. So they came out with this and tried to cover people's signs. And I tried to talk to one of the guys out there, one of the communist guys. I think this is communist cloak material. Yeah, <laughs> yeah maybe yeah, maybe that's what they make their cloaks cloak out of. Cloak of secrecy. But I was trying to talk to one of the communist guys. And he said, you're being aggressive. You're being, you know, intimidating. Asking him a that's, question. Yeah. yeah, just asking him a question. Yeah. I was like, okay, whatever. I'll go talk to somebody else. And before I could spin to turn around, he and his friend go up to somebody else with a sign and like and start 
like yeah. shoving them like this, yeah, trying to cover their son. I'm like, mind you, we did not, we didn't realize at the time who these people were. They were just showing up, and they were so angry. Yeah, they were. And they were, they were, they were like, silent. Wars is anti-woman and anti-black people, and oh, and they were like shaking and crying because they were just mm -hmm. seething with anger. And then it turns out CJ actually recognized one of them from some an event or something, and they, he said, "Hey, aren't those the kids that were?" Marching around with a hammer and sickle, and aren't those communists? But go on. So, yes, things got out of hand. <laughs> well, I mean, it didn't get too far out of hand. Yes, police were called. And by and large, I thought APD did a pretty good job today. We have uh, had issues with them in the past, but not today. Uh, except they didn't arrest some of the guys who came up and actually physically attacked right. us, which I was kind of disappointed about. The first agitation happened where it was three guys who were, weren't dressed in all black who we'll see some video of them later, especially the one who's kind of vampiric. But they went over and started messing with a, a guy who's mentally, he's mentally impaired. He's been brain damaged from an accident. He was hit by a car, but he comes out to all the protests. He's a big Ron Paul supporter. Um, his name's Ronnie Reefer Seed. Anyway, he's standing there with his sign and they just start wailing on him. And he's like, wait a minute, guys, leave me alone, leave me alone. And he actually filed uh, charges. He, mm -hmm. he pressed charges uh, against those guys. But then they come back and they all get together. They all left for a while and we thought they were done, but they all come back and they link arms. And I've actually shot video of this as they were linking arms. I knew something was up. I start following them. First thing they do is hit an old man. Big, tough communist yeah. hit an old man. Right. Mm -hmm. They knock him out of the way. And then they run into Weldon Henson and some other people. Well, Weldon wasn't going to move for him. And so they start going around him. But their main target was Alex Jones. Mm -hmm. And they were literally going, excuse me, pardon me, as they're like running into people, hitting him trying to knock him out of the way. They're going after his mic, and they finally succeed in grabbing the mic, but we had backups, of course. We always carry a backup <laughs> cord, a backup mic, because this has happened before. Right. Alex Jones was at the Democratic Look at National these liberals Convention. with the oh, censoring free speech. free speech. Oh. Well, this happened to Alex back in, I think it was the DNC in Denver when he was bullhorning. And this is a big, I think it was 2008. 9-11 was an inside job, was big back then. They went and cut his cut his mic uh, cable to his bullhorn and cut the cable to it. Well, and they just went and got a backup bullhorn and got <laughs> yeah. another bullhorn. That's how we do it. Right. You know, we come prepared with extra stuff. We had signs. We took the time to make them. These guys didn't have anything. They came out with their black pieces of paper. Then they were taking pizza, on pizza boxes, boxes, making, you know, InfoWars is anti-women because we don't agree that, you know, babies should be allowed. There should be legalized baby killing in this country. Mm -hmm. And right. that's what it is. And, and this is what gets me at the bottom line. These people are not for women's health. That is not what they're there for. Because right. we have we have video that some uh, some of our people shot and gave to us, mm -hmm. and these people love to kill babies. They admit it. They're yeah. so they racist, admit it on and they video. love killing babies. Yeah. yeah. One guy, the guy with all the tattoos on his neck and the big line tattoos on mm -hmm. his face, little skinny, little rat-looking guy. He's proud that he, he's like, oh, I, I kill all my babies. I'm proud of it. I paid for about 50 so far. So proud yeah. of it. And then the skinny uh, black girl turned and said, I kill all my babies. Mm -hmm. She, They're just proud of it. And there she is with her Lenin and Stalin tattoo. That's her with her serve the people. There's not, they're not, it's not about serving the people. It's about killing people that don't agree right. with you. Yeah. That's their message at the end of the day. Right. Well, these people support democide and forced abortion yeah. by default if they are for... Mao and Stalin. I mean, how do they justify? They 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 tell everyone, "Hey, come around to our group, our weekly group. We're going to learn about Mao." Oh yeah, we're he's gonna such learn a great guy. He only yeah. killed eighty Stalin. million people. But they they only want to teach you about the young Mao and the young Stalin, who were the revolutionaries who overthrew the the bourgeoisie. Well, like, their ideas got co-opted. No, yeah. no, that no. Their, that was their idea. That was their plan. After Mao allowed the uh, the Red Guards to go in and and do all their unsettlement with the People's Liberation Army, he had them slaughtered. So once he let them... Useful go, idiots, brown it, shirts. Useful brown idiots, shirt. let them... And that, who does that as well? Soros, what mm -hmm. have we seen? How he's gone in the same thing, fiscally supported the, the people's uprising in these countries, and they think, yay, we've overthrown our corrupt government officials, and then it gets replaced with something in worse. with yeah. something even yeah. worse. And they're, they want to tear down what we have in the United States and prop up a communist regime or Which a socialist perfect. regime. We don't sit here and apologize for our government. <laughs> no, 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 not We at are all. very critical of our own government all the time. It's yes. not It's not like something where we go, well, you know, they're trying hard. No, we know that those people are bought and paid off. Yeah. And that's the, that's the thing. You have to, we have to get back to a 
what they say is a democratically elected government, but like real people where it's not voting machines determining who's going to be running mm. our lives. Right, and, and not that's career politicians. Look at them. There they are right there. They're all... And they're very proud, but, you know, yeah. you notice, too, they didn't want to talk on camera because no. that, that's the first person I talked to. I did my introduction. I said, let's find out why these guys are here. They had nothing to say. But cuss words. Yeah, they, yeah, they yeah. cuss at you. They and like, very... what's your name? It's like F you, and even though we found all their Facebook pages and all that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. and, and once they were found out, once they realized, oh, wow, they actually know who we are, uh, they wouldn't even admit that that's who they were, and you could just see their whole energy just kind of went, oh. Yeah, and they're like, we're not communists. And then you cut to a picture of the guy at <laughs> a communist <laughs> right rally. He's like holding <laughs> no, up the hammer the and sickle. Yeah. And, I, and I think what we proved today is, is really how the media is going to be in the future. You're going to have people out at live events happening. You're going to be able to grab all this, kind of what the NSA does. And, you know, grab, master. We were almost able to master the human domain by just looking at what these people put up on their Facebooks. And people need to look at this as a good thing and a bad thing. One, we can find out about people. Two, this is what the government is doing to you. They are looking at you, and they're making algorithms based on that. We're out there just saying, hey, maybe we should have a discussion about why we're killing so many blacks right. via abortion. And they didn't like, like that. Like, when do black lives start to matter to you? Right. I right. mean, that it starts in the womb, and they were so against that. And it, it, like you point out, it's not about black lives matter. I mean, they were so angry at us. How dare you come out and co-opt the black lives matter movement to push yeah. a pro-life agenda when they swooped in, the, the Red Guards group, not necessarily Red Guards Austin, but that Red, they swooped into Ferguson immediately. Remember, we were like, why is there a communist group there in Ferguson trying to get new members and recruit new people? And they're out there telling this Black Lives Matter movement, hey, we're for you. We're against the cops. Down with the pigs. Right. Kill we're the cops. We're for the people. We're for the yeah, people. Yeah, we're for the join our group. I read a lot about Pol Pot and the Khmer Rouge from people who actually survived working in those death camps. And this is what happened. They would send in their minions to go into towns, and if you had glasses, if you knew how to read, they would just take you out in the street and shoot you, okay? As far as I know, these people know how to read. They can use Facebook, so they obviously know how to read and type. These people would be killed, too, in that type of government. They don't want anybody who can think for themselves. That's at the bottom line. That is what these movements are all about. Right. Anybody who has an individual thought is immediately killed. And, like, reading these stories, most of these were kids because what they did was take the kid. They killed the parents. They would take the kids out into the country and make them work on farms and not feed them and starve them to death. And if you did anything out of line, you were beaten, you were killed, you were shot. They did things like, oh, you can leave now. And then they would go hunt them in the woods. I mean, it was horrible stuff. And this, from the kids who experienced it, this wasn't third hand. These were little kids who wrote letters about it years mm -hmm. later after it. Totally disgusting what goes on with right. these things. But the bottom line is, if, you know, if you're any type of individual, you are outed. Right. Well, and that's what we interviewed uh, the the woman who had escaped communism, and she's speaking out against Common Core, uh, Lib uh, Lily for Liberty. Uh, but that's what she was talking about: is that anyone who was against the government would be you would be isolated, starved. Everyone there is trained to be a robot. No one there is going to be winning any Nobel Peace Prizes because the the ones who get to move on are the ones who you know love Mao and support the government. And she would have to keep a diary of if her family was speaking out against the government or, you know, and she would have to recite things that Mao was saying every day. And this is who the, the Red Guards pledged their allegiance to Mao. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then he had them slaughtered after he had them do all their dirty work. For and that's what Hitler did. He got his brown shirt goons to go in and create uprisings in the area and attack Jews and, and demonize them. And then once the dirty work was done, they got killed. So I got news for you out there, Red Guard here in Austin. If you think you're going to get some revolution and think you're going to go out and just attack people and start a bunch of, you know, nonsense, essentially, you're not really doing anything productive right. trying to tear the country apart. You're well, not doing anything. And, and, and at the end of the day, if you do succeed, which you won't, but if by some reason you, you'll be killed too. At right. The Pretty much. Well, and they're basically they calling that. for violence. And then so that's what we've been saying all along is that these Soros-backed groups are going in there to try and cause racial violence and... and well, they attacked us. They yeah, they wanted exactly. a violent confrontation. Right. And that's what they're all for. They, they sat in demon and watching them do that tactic where they all linked arms and walk in. That is just, that's like one of the oldest tricks in the book where we're all just, we're just walking. We're all linking arms and you're in our way. That is like one of the oldest things. I know. Excuse I, me, I please. Excuse yeah. me. They were Rules even for radicals. being polite, yeah. asking everyone to move out of the way uh, as I barrel through you. And screaming at you in your face and because... Damage you know, your property and right, and they don't like they 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 got the the gall. They were like, "How could you 
take this Black Lives Matter movement and demean it. I'm like, what do you mean demean it? More black kids are killed. More babies are killed. Defenseless babies are Margaret killed. Margaret Sanger was like the queen of the KKK. Plan she started I don't think they Planned understand that. You know, I wanted to have a dialogue with them about that, but of course they wouldn't talk to me. They just said, F you. But yeah, they don't understand the history of the Planned Parenthood organization that, going back to the American Birth Control League, and they started this thing to kill the black weeds. Yeah. As Margaret Sanger said, mm -hmm. and now Planned Parenthood still exists today, but they think it's the greatest thing in the world it's because they, they themselves, they tell you they will abort their children. Oh, yeah. In fact, let's go to the clips now. We'll put them back to back. The the rat looking dude and then the the other. The girl with the Stalin tattoos. The Stalin Lenin tattoos. Just remember that that's what she has on her arm. Come on. She's that a, serious about she's communism. Tattooed. Yeah, but that right. guy, he's a, not a rat. He's a wannabe baby Bill Ayers. Oh, yeah, kids. baby Bill. So let's go to those now. And you can just hear in their own words. They're not about women's health. They're not about, uh, you know, saving women's lives. It's about killing babies. Right. It's, it's all what it's about. At the end of the day, they want to kill babies. Kill babies. I pay for that. You know something? I pay all my money for that. I get free wicked. abortions you on demand wicked. without apology. You are wicked as hell. Yep. And I'm going to hell. Yeah, I still pay to kill babies, though. Really? Oh, yeah. How do you get your abortions paid for? I pay for them. I thought really? you said How many free. you pay for? Uh, upwards of 50. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow, you must make I a lot of I raise money, money from the community for it. Oh, you don't use yep. your money? You, you multiply your efforts, huh? Why are you so worried about a psycho? And ultimately, your sympathies do not lie with black people. They lie with your racist, white, middle-class agenda, and that's where it will always lie, and you will be destroyed holding that line. Okay, I, I adopted two children. Oh, good for you, white savior. Aren't you so proud? You're They're white not guy. white. He's, he's exactly, not white. he's not white. Exactly, not you're a white, white savior. You think that it is the white man's duty to fix everybody's problems, right? How because many you did adopt? you adopt? How many? How many did I adopt? I kill my kids. How many? How many did I adopt? I kill my kids. I kill my kids. So there you have it in their own words. They love paying for abortion. They love killing babies. What kind of people are those? I mean, really? Yeah, they don't care about human life. No, I mean, and, and that's, and they're sitting there, we're speaking for women. They're speaking for women's health, saying they want to put them in a procedure that endangers their lives. Well, I mean, that's just the, the attacks cancer. they have. If you're black, they'll call you a racist. If you're a female, they'll call you a sexist. You know, they yeah. have really no base argument if in reality. If you're a woman like David Knight's wife, you know, they adopted children oh, yeah. and then they're- It's white privilege. You're a white savior, you know, like a white demon, which is- no, Little white people Hollywood aren't allowed to be decent. That. White people aren't allowed to be decent. We're just allowed to be the scapegoat. For we it. all should just kill ourselves. Yeah, exactly. Would that make you happy, Jakari? If I no, I would not be happy. <laughs> I mean, it's totally ridiculous what their whole agenda is. And what we're going to be doing over the next few days is exposing it through videos, right. through the power of information and media. We're going to be showing these people when we're asking them if they're communist and if they go to Stalinist meetings and they pretend like they don't know what we're talking about. And then we're going to show them on their Facebook pages. How do they justify the... Which they're taking they're taking down all their pictures right now, but we've yeah. got them. We're yeah, we've got the all. picture of the, the pig's head yeah. that they have hanging, uh, saying, you know, yes, all cops, that they want to kill the cops, take the guns away from the cops, and they're all for the Second Amendment if it's them, them. killing yeah, cops. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? Oh, yeah, they were bitching about the NRA, one guy was. He was like, right. oh, what are you, an NRA member? What's wrong with being an NRA member? You know, what's wrong with that? The NRA started to teach minorities how to shoot. Yeah. Regardless right. of what, uh, I don't agree with everything they do today, but that's how they started. Right. right. Exactly. Exactly. And the Democratic Party was started for what? It was to take away gun rights. Right. You know, that was how they started. I just the Ku Klux Klan was started to take away people's gun rights. I mean, that the Democratic Party is the party of the Klan. They have no, they don't have their interests, they don't have minorities' interests in, in, in heart. They just want to take, they want to use that big base to take away other people's rights at the end and, and confuse them with bull. Right. Well, and it just it's just so in your face there how they can distort history because they're sitting there holding these weekly Honestly, I don't think they know it. Well, they, no, they, they don't, don't or they only it's teach a taught. certain portion of it. Most people, you're right, they don't know that. And that's what we were out there today to try and educate people on. But also just the fact that you could hold weekly meetings to praise the biggest mass murderer in history yeah. and tell people, oh, well, he wasn't like that as a kid. Somehow his he got corrupted. We're not corrupted. I mean, even though we're... Mao and Stalin, <laughs> two of the biggest mass murderers. Right. Yeah. And what do mass murderers agree? Gun control works. That's what they agree. <laughs> they all love gun control because that's what they always do. Even right. though they say, oh, no, they didn't do that. The liberal left comes back and says, 
they didn't ban guns. <laughs> No, not for themselves. Just yeah. anybody yeah. else. Well, and forced abortion and democide. Because yeah. How how else do you think that they made it all happen? Like. And they go after the weak in society. That's how they achieve too. their goals. Right. Yeah, they we go, saw that proof positive yeah. today. Attacking old men. They attacked an old man holding they the sign. They attacked David Knight's daughter. Okay. Really? I yeah, didn't see that. Yeah, one of the big guys was trying to come after his daughter. Who, how, how old is Hannah? Eight? Uh, she's, no, she's 12. No, she's but still. Well, I mean, she's, yeah, she's, yeah, she's a minor, she's obviously. A, she yeah. didn't stand that. She was like... You can't talk to me. Get off the sidewalk. Nice. These guys are just punks, <laughs> man. It, it's just, this is what we're dealing with. And I think it was great that they came out and showed their true colors because they want to pretend that we're for women's health. We're not with any group. And they're all, all of them, to a T, are in this little communist clique. Right. And, well, that's what I really want to point out over the next few days because that's what really infuriated me is that they're coming after us, calling us statists and fascists and racists. You Hiding know, behind their All cloak. the typical things. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to rally up their, their Black Lives this Matter This is us. Movement. We're not communists. This yeah. is us. No, we yeah. believe in free speech. Oh, you yeah, guys until are. Until they burn your magazine. <laughs> yeah, 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 not a lot of that magazine. They're so here, proud of them. Here, here we are. Yeah, yeah. We're not communists. Yeah. We're not <laughs> communists. You know, ridiculousness. Yeah. And well, that's why I just want to make sure that their message is out there loud and clear so that they can't lie to the young people who are looking to some sort of a savior. They're looking to some sort of a group because the Black Lives Matter movement, you know, there are a lot of young people out there that are really pissed off with the way things yeah. are going. Mm -hmm. And so, of course, you're going to have these groups who try to swoop in and take all of that anger so they can channel it for their own agenda. And it's it's a really messed up agenda. And it's happened, and it's going to get worse as the economy gets worse. Absolutely. And George Soros, That's why we you just had an article out. about that. I mean, why George does he Soros know George Soros is making this? money on yeah. the way up and on the way down. Yeah. That's yeah. how he makes it. How does money. he know all this unrest is coming? Because he paid for it. Well, not really, because he didn't give them their checks. Yeah. Oh, that's true. They're very angry. Well, thank you, guys. Now, we're going to air that entire report. We've got many, many coming. There's so much footage out there. We're going to kind of ease it out as the days go on, but we'll... Stick around after the news because we're, we're going to have another full-length report coming up. But thank you so much for tuning in to the show tonight. If you're watching us on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Help us out. We love getting even more subscribers and share all of our videos with your friends there on YouTube. And you can also become a subscriber to PrisonPlanet.tv. Your subscription helps us run this entire operation and uh, when you get there, you'll get instant access to over 18 years worth of content, stuff you'll never find on YouTube. And of course, you can share your username and password with up to 20 people at the same time. So stick around. There's still more to come. We'll see you here tomorrow, 7 p.m. Central. I kill my kids. Babies, I pay for that. You know something? I pay all I'm, my money for that. I get free wicked. abortions you on demand wicked. without apology. You are wicked as yep. hell. And I'm going to hell. Yeah, I still pay to kill babies, though. Really? Oh, yeah. How do you get your abortions paid for? I pay for them. I thought really? you said How many free? Pay for uh, upwards of 50. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow, you must make I a raise lot of money, money from the community for it. Oh, you don't use yep. your money? You, you multiply your efforts, huh? Well, we're down here pointing out that all black lives matter, all lives matter, and that the very people who want to literally wipe out black Americans uh, through Planned Parenthood on record are the ones trying to create this whole race war and garbage off some of these tragedies. So we're pointing out the real organized genocide with the documented proof. We're talking to a lot of great folks. Sir, give us your take on all this. 
Yeah, I think that uh, we're going to continue forward as a country. That we need to. Uh, Excuse us! Fight us! Excuse us! Fight us! Excuse 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 us! From the street, man, you're gonna get hurt. Move away from the street, bro. You gotta chill, bro. Your boy is attacking me. Get out of here. Get the hell out of here. You're God's fallen. Hey, we had you guys on video. You're God's fallen. You're weak. You're God's weak. Look at these clouds! Look at clouds! Watch out! Just grab the mic again! Look at these clouds! Hey! Who put the mic? Go get the footage! Yeah, we're trying to we're trying to get these guys out of their parking lot. Yeah, you got a lot of feet. Show this. Yeah, we're trying to get out of their parking lot. Yeah, we got out of your parking lot. Hey, brother. All right, here you go. 